Hey everyone, Tammy Becker here with your devotion for week 20 titled A Line in the Sand. Let's begin with the week's prayer that's in our books. Holy God, I want to follow your way. Give me the discernment to know the way you're leading me and the courage I need to trust in you. In Jesus' precious name, amen. A Line in the Sand. Then the king, uh, we're reading from Daniel chapter 1, verse 3 to 8. Then the king ordered Ashvanaz, chief of his court officials, to bring into the king's service some of the Israelites from the royal family and the nobility, young men without any physical defect, handsome, showing aptitude for every kind of learning, well-informed, quick to understand, and qualified to serve in the king's palace. He was to teach them the language and literature of the Babylonians. The king assigned them a daily amount of food and wine from the king's table. They were to be trained for three years, and after that, they were to enter the king's service. Among those who were chosen were some from Judah, Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. The chief's official gave them new names to Daniel, the name Belteshara, Hananiah, Shadrach, to Mishael, and Meshach, and to Azariah, Abednego. But Daniel resolved that he would not defile himself with the royal food and wine, and he asked the chief official permission not to defile himself this way. In the Middle Eastern culture, when you sat down to eat a meal, particularly with a ruler or a king, it was a sign of a covenant com commitment. You were pledging loyalty to the king, a submit to and share his life. But the only one Daniel was going to submit to was God, and he wanted to make that clear. Never cross a line that God has drawn. The world will tempt you, but when you stay on God's side, will you say, stay on... When, but when you stay on the God side, you will stay on the good side. Just as Daniel and his three friends were given food from the king's table, obviously very good food, so too are we given food from the table of the present world. Yes, it looks attractive. It tastes good too. Why then should we not partake? We were told that uh, Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were without defect. But the reason Daniel gave for not eating food from the king's table was that it would defile him. The attractive meal would do great harm to these men and they were wise enough to abstain from what God had prohibited. Each of us in the same way tempted to dine from the king of his world's table. The fare looks delicious and will be pleasing to taste, but to eat that which God has forbidden is to partake of poison. What is it in your life that is being offered as food from the king's table? Have you already partaken and experienced its sad effects? If so, resolve now to push back your chair from the king's table and stand on the God side, the good side. And the question it asks to uh, ponder for the week as you go through your study is to consider the dead end you face today. What would happen if you traded in all your options and decided to act with integrity and devotion to God? Hope you guys have a blessed week. Don't forget to visit us either uh, for co-ed Bible study on Monday night or ladies Bible study Wednesday morning or Thursday evening. Hope to see you there. God bless. Have a great week.